Hello. It's given that in photoelectric effect, the work function of a metal is 3.5 electron volts. The emitted electrons in the stop by applying a potential of minus 1.2 volt, then given that options A, the energy of the incident photon is 4.7 electron volt. B, the energy of the incident photon is 2.3 electron volt. C, if a higher frequency photon be used, the photoelectric current will rise. D. When the energy of photon is 3.5 electron volt, the photoelectric current will be maximum. So, step one, let us try to understand step by step. That is, what do you mean by photoelectric effect? Whenever a sufficient amount of energy is incident on the metal plate, then electron is ejected out. This phenomena we call it as photoelectric effect. Okay. And this is the experimental setup for it. There are two metal plates, P and A. P for cathode, A for anode. These two metal plates are taken in a vacuum chamber and there is a light is incidenting on the metal plate C. From the C, the electron is ejected out. The incident energy E, how it is utilized, let us try to understand. E is utilized to pi. What is pi? Pi is a work function. What do you mean by work function? It is nothing but the, the energy required to eject the electron from the metal surface is called work function. And that is the value they have given that is 3.5 electron volt. And the incident energy, which is also used to move the electron, especially we say move the ejected electron. The ejected electron can be directed towards the anode if you maintain sufficient positive potential by the external battery at the anode and if we maintain sufficient negative potential at the anode then the electron can also be stopped because of the repulsion. Electrons are having negative charge and at the anode also if you maintain the negative potential then the electron may also stop. So that particular potential where the electron can be stopped is called stopping potential. So, that is the value they have given in the question, stopped by applying a potential of minus 1.2. So, that means with the minus 1.2 volts of external power supply, we are able to stop the electron's kinetic energy. That means electron's energy should be, ejected electron's kinetic energy should be 1.2 electron volt. So, if we substitute in this equation that is given by Einstein, we call this equation as Einstein photoelectric equation, like pi is equal to 3.5, k is equal to 1.2. So, the final answer will be 3.5 plus 1.2 is equal to 4.7 electron volt, which is the energy of the incident photon. So, option A will be the correct answer and option B is wrong answer and option C, if higher frequency photon be used, the photoelectric current will rise. This is the wrong option. The photo current is nothing but actually when you send the electrons from the cathode to anode, in that case, the uh, electron flow is there, then there is a current generated that can be shown in the ammeter which is connected here. In this 
current we call it as photoelectric current or photo current simply this photo current basically depends on the potential which we maintain at the anode so it will not depend on the incident energy which we are sending to towards a metal so option c is also wrong option d when the energy of photon is 3.5 electron volt the photoelectric current will be maximum so when we supply only 3.5 electron volt that is equal to the work function of a metal then the ejection of electron only will take place the movement of electron will not take place so if the movement of electron is not there then the photo current will also be not there so we cannot say that when we supply the photo photon energy 3.5 the photoelectric current will be maximum option b is also wrong final answer is a hope this answered your question second question the stopping potential v not versus frequency plot of a substance is stored in figure the threshold wavelength is the given options are a 5 into 10 power 14 meter b 6000 angstrom c 5000 angstrom d cannot be estimated from given data so it was given that threshold wavelength first of all what do you mean by threshold wavelength there is a minimum energy to be supplied some value of minimum energy to be supplied to the metal surface so that electron will eject out so for that minimum energy one particular wavelength will be there one particular frequency will be there so that particular frequency or that particular wavelength if we supply only then the electron gets ejected out or simply we can say the minimum energy required uh, for the electron to eject out is threshold energy and for maintaining that minimum energy we need a some particular maximum wavelength and beyond that if you supply the energy the energy may not be sufficient to eject the electron so that particular maximum wavelength which is required to eject the electron is called threshold wavelength okay so there is an inverse relation between the wavelength and the frequency so frequency should be minimum for the maximum wavelength condition so so here it is given that the frequency minimum will be 5 into 10 power 14 hertz there is a relation between frequency wavelength and speed of light is new frequency into lambda wavelength which is equal to c speed of light so from there lambda is equal to c by phi so c by nu which is equal to c is equal to c into 10 power 8 and nu 5 into 10 power 14 and if we simplify 3 by phi which is equal to 0.6 and 10 power 8 into 10 power minus 14 which is equal to 10 power minus 6 but the answer is not matching with the options and uh, he, they have given in terms of angstroms angstrom one angstrom is nothing but 10 power minus 10 meters so we have to make our answer as a multiplication factor 10 power minus 10 in order to do so we multiply with 10 power 4 and multiply with 10 power minus 4 okay if we do that 0.6 into 10 power 4 which is 6000 10 power minus 4 into 10 power minus 6 which is 10 power minus 10 then which is equal to 10 power minus 10 meter is nothing but as 6000 and so our answer is option b 
hope you answered your question. Next question, which one of the following graphs represents the variation of maximum kinetic energy of the emitted electrons with frequency nu in photoelectric effect correctly? So as we know already, some particular threshold frequency or threshold energy we have to supply, then only the electron ejects out. So here, if you observe the D option graph, so particular energy or particular frequency, minimum frequency, which you supply, then that will only be utilized to eject the electron and there will not be any kinetic energy. So corresponding to the threshold frequency, the kinetic energy, if you see here, it is zero. Okay. As you increase gradually the frequency of the incident photon, then gradually kinetic energy of the electron should also increase. And in the D graph, it is clearly shown that the option D will be the correct answer. Hope this answered your question. Thank you.